Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Dan and today we hope to take a break from the RTX 3080 drama to actually focus on video games. In the past few days we had the Tokyo Game Show 2020 and this morning I realized that there are two trailers that I actually want to check out with you. The first one is around Nier Replicant which is the remake of the original Nier and the second one is going to be around Hyrule Warrior, the prequel of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So this is going to be a bit of a reaction uh, video if you want, because I haven't checked the trailers yet. This is going to be my first time. So let's start with Near Replicant. It says PlayStation because it's the PlayStation channel, but this game is going to be on PC and Xbox as well. Hmm. The music, guys, the music. And just FYI, I'm such a Square Enix fanboy. If you played Automata, you know how poetic this game can be. And this is Nier actually, because they're gonna use the PS version of Nier, which is the younger one, rather than the Xbox version, which is the older one. At least this is my understanding. I haven't actually played the original Nier, I only played the Automata, so I'm very excited about this one. <laughs> Is this Tokyo? What the fuck? Version 1.22474487139 so the game is already available for pre-order on PlayStation Network and also on Steam. Uh, it's going to be released on the 23rd of April 2021. And I can tell you, I'm going to play this from day one unless I am playing something else. So let's change the scenery and we go with a Rude Warrior. And here we are. So without further ado, let's have a look at this trailer for Hyrule Warrior Age of Calamity. Don't cry, Zelda. Well, Link, you've grown since I last saw you. And yet, <laughs> You have not changed. Oh, can you actually? Learning new ways to fight the foes might Can you actually play with the champions? So that's why it's a good thing it's gonna be us. Well, it's just Maru Dani that is in a difficult spot right now. What? What? This is great! No longer. Oh, she was my favorite. I will pilot this divine beast. That's a lot of enemies. I hope you're not hurt, little bird. Hmm. After the trailer, we actually have some gameplay. Rito Village is my home. While I'm here, you won't be I remember here. doing his mission was such a pain. A I suppose the time has finally come to reveal Farm Meadow's divine power. Beautiful, you just beautiful. All that is needed to face whatever destiny awaits. I rose fate is in your hands. Whoa. Whoa. Pretty 
perfect. Just perfect. Okay. November the 20th. My only concern about the launch date is that two days prior we have Cyberpunk as well. So it will be a very busy winter. But now let's let's go to the uh, to the gameplay because there was something I did not quite understand uh, during the trailer. I saw a bit too many a bit too many enemies all at once, and yeah. Now that I look at this image, I can see there is a map, and I'm getting a bit worried. Is this an RPG actually? <laughs> This this gameplay was shown on TGS 2020 and it is now clear to me that this is a Muzo style kind of game. And maybe that was already announced a few days ago or a few weeks ago, but I did not catch this. I am not a fan of the Muzo style kind of gameplay to be fair. But as long as we have a very good story, I don't mind. Let's have a look. It, I mean, it looks pretty fun. I guess it will be a bit less strategic than Breath of the Wild. And a bit more casual if you want. That's a lot of enemies. It's a Muzo, 100%. Yeah, they're saying it's a Muzo. I mean, I only heard Muzu, and I'm guessing this they're saying it's a Muzu, <laughs> because I don't speak Japanese. Wow. Guys, it looks beautiful. It's freaking Zelda Breath of the Wild. Wow, I love that. And even though it's not exactly what I was expecting, that's that's fine. Because we will know more about what happened before Zelda, Zelda Breath of the Wild. So I think the one on the left was the boss, wasn't it? Where is he going? Where are you going, Link? Hmm. Let me move a bit forward, maybe. Ooh, what is that? Oh jeez, that was cool. Go to the boss. We want to see the boss fight. Ooh, look at the boss. So you can see the elf bar on top. You can easily dodge as well, apparently. I think the boss has some sort of shield as well. Not for long, because Zelda is destroying it. What happens if you press X? Success. Oh, that was easy though. If that was a, a real boss. Oh, I love this. I really love this. So what concerns me about Amuzu is the fact that the game might become very repetitive. At the same time, what I understood from the trailer is that you're not going to play just Link, you're gonna be able to play with the champions as well. So I'm moving to another video because uh, I found one where you can actually play with the champions. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. See if you can see anything special. I wonder how long this game will be. Mm. We'll just move forward. We saw this one before. Naruto! Again, we play Link again in this one. Okay, 
guess we understood what kind of game is it. Uh, I'm still excited about it, to be fair. Uh, let me know, guys, if you are excited about Nier or Hyrule Warriors or the both of them on the comments. And please leave a like on the video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to hear more about us. Thank you and see you on the next video.